Hi guys! In the last video of date series, I had some of my foreign friends try Vietnamese traditional food for Vietnamese Lunar New Year. Some of them really like the food. Yes, so good. Some don't. <laughs> but most of them really like the Vietnamese square sticky rice cake, aka bánh chưng. So today, I decided to show you guys how bánh chưng is made. Are you guys ready? Let's go! Bánh chưng is a traditional Vietnamese rice cake made of glutinous rice, mung bean, and pork. Bánh chưng is an indispensable culinary beauty of date and it was invented during the reign of the 6th Hung Emperor. According to folklore, the last Hung King held a competition to find which son could bring him the best dish in the world. The winner will become the new king. One son named Lang Liu chose the local ingredients and created round and square cakes. The round cake symbolizes the sky, called bánh dày, and the square cake symbolizes the earth, called bánh chưng. The ingredients like pork, mung bean, and sticky rice represent plants, animals, and the wet rice civilization. These humble dishes impressed the king, who then awarded Lang Liu the throne. Ban Chung has since become a must-have food during date, while bánh dây is served regularly at festivals and ceremonies. In southern Vietnam, people eat bánh tết, which has different shapes but similar ingredients like bánh chưng. For Vietnamese people, the process of making bánh chung is the opportunity for families to come together. All family members tell one another the past stories and celebrate the new year. It is evidence of Vietnamese loyalty and deep gratitude to ancestors. To make bánh chung, we need three main ingredients. Sticky rice, mung bean, and pork belly. First, Place the zong leaves on the flat surface. Put a small bowl of rice on it. Sprinkle half of the mong bean. Place two pork slices in the middle. Sprinkle on the other half of the mong bean. Then cover everything with another bowl of rice. Then fold the leaves over and grab the cake just like you grab a present. Finally, tie the cake with bamboo strings. Now it's my turn to try it. So the first thing I learned was that it is important to have the greener part of the leaf faced up so it can give Benching the green color. Sprinkling mung bean is my favorite part since it reminds me of nostalgic time when I was playing with Play-Doh when I was a kid. Second favorite part was choosing the meat and put it on top of the mung bean. I also learned that the meat was marinated with shallots, pepper, and fish sauce to give them savory taste. Wondering why the fillings taste so good. After that, we place cakes in a huge pot with zong leaf stalks. Pour in enough water to submerge the cake and boil on high heat. As the water boils off, add enough water to keep the cake submerged. Boil bang chung for at least 8 hours. We made around 40 cakes and I can't wait to see the result. Are you guys excited too? I am so super excited. Ooh, 
we're done, guys. After the cakes are taken from the pot, rinse them out with cold water and press them to remove excess water. Cutting bang chung is my favorite part, guys, since it is a unique way to cut it. Bang chung is so sticky, so you can't use knives. You have to use the bamboo strings to cut it, and my mom will demonstrate it right now. Alright, and then you would like stack the strings in order, and you should remember what order they are. So you see like six pieces. In there, if you decide to do it, and then you would like flip it over. Dang! Look how green it is. It looks so good. Yeah, just grab the two ends and then just toss them. You can cut it. Ooh, dang. How genius. Showtime guys! So now I'm gonna try the bang chun that I made. I'm not sure if this one I made it, but look at this guy. This is so beautiful. You can see like the green color from the zong leaves and the filling. Oh wow, look at this. Like with the pork, fatty pork, mung beans with the sticky rice. And I feel like it's gonna taste good. Okay, I'm gonna put some soy sauce. Yup. It smells really good, like the soy sauce and the bang chung. You can smell the dung leaves from here, actually. Okay, I'm gonna take the part that has like the fat and the lean meat. Usually, we eat bang chun with like pickled onions because pickled onions are crunchy and bang chun is like smushy. So like, um, they're gonna like like mix together and it, it's gonna give it like a perfect balance. But I feel like with this itself, it's good already, you know? And I just love, love the filling in here. Oh, to be honest, I don't like the fatty meat. I don't usually eat like fat meat, but in here, for some reason, maybe it's being boiled for like more than eight hours. The fatty meat doesn't taste like fat anymore. Like when you put it in your mouth, it's just like melting in your mouth. And like with the lean meat and the sticky rice, it's just like the perfect combination. I'm telling y'all, it's so good. And I know like why I gain a lot of weight during the state holiday because this has a lot of carbs and fat in it, you know? But I think it's okay, right? It's just once a year. So I gotta treat myself. Oh my gosh, I am so full guys. I already ate two pieces and I just 
I just couldn't fit any more in my stomach. So yeah, I feel like making bang chun today was a success and I am very happy about like the whole process and just like sitting with my family, talking to them and uh, doing something new today, you know, especially for the holiday and uh, bang chun is so special for us. So uh, I, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to got the mission to achieve the mission. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Uh, if you have a chance to make bang chun or you have eaten it before, comment down below in the comment section so I know too. Um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch more interesting videos about Vietnam. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next videos. Bye!